Hey everybody, Shabo here, back from a video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inventory saving system in Roblox. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to view at the top, open up explorer and properties, and make sure to open up output just in case you make an error. Next we're going to go to server script service, right click it, insert object, and then we're going to insert a script. Now before we start scripting, I'm just going to make a couple tools real quick. Now as you can see here, I have a red block and a green block and a blue block. All of these are tools, and I'm able to pick these up in game. What we're going to do with these tools to make sure we can save them, is we're going to go to explorer over here open up workspace, and then select all of the tools. We're going to press Control D or right click and then press duplicate. And then we're going to group them up in a folder. So group as a folder, and then we can name this tools, and then we can move it into replicated storage. Now we should have a copy of all of these. So whenever the player rejoins, we can move all of those back into their backpack whenever they rejoin. Now we can start scripting. So we're just gonna go to the script. We're gonna delete that. And we're just gonna start making our variables first. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of services and variables. So this is just the player service. So we can detect when a player leaves and joins. This is the data store service for saving their data. This is the replicated storage, which we use to get the tools folder over here that we do, that we made earlier. And then a player tools table. Because of the way Roblox works, we're going to have to use a variable and a table for detecting whenever the player is holding a tool so that whenever they leave, we can save that data. So we're just gonna make a couple of functions first. So here we have two functions one for whenever the player joins and one for the one whenever the player leaves. And then we have a character added function for whenever the character is added. So whenever we press play, we should see it print that we joined and then our character was added and then it'll print whenever we leave. So if I press play here, as you can see in output, we joined and then the character got added. And if we leave, it says that we left the game. And if all of that prints, it should be working. Now we just gotta make the data. So this is the first part of the data saving. Whenever the player joins, we're gonna check if they have any data by putting their user ID inside of this data store right here. So we have a data store variable called tool data. It just gets a data store named tools. And then whenever they join, we enter a loop of checking if their data is there. If it is, then we just break out of the loop. And if it isn't, we wait five seconds and then check again. And this will make sure nobody loses their data. Okay, so now in this character added part, we're gonna check if they have any saved data of tools. So if data, then, we're gonna go through the data and then clone all the tools that they have. So now right here in this part of the code, it'll check if they have any data from the first time they joined. If they do, it'll get all the tool names because we're gonna be saving the tool names inside of the data. It's gonna check if there is a tool named that. If there isn't, it'll throw a warning, but if there is, it'll clone it and then put it inside of their backpack. Now we should be about halfway done. We just need to save it. So we're gonna be constantly checking whenever they equip and unequip tools and stuff to save their tool data in here. And then whenever they leave, we're gonna save it. And here's the finished code, or it should be the finished code. So just for a quick rundown, player joins, checks for their data, waits until it gets the data. And then when the character is added, if the data is there and it's their first time spawning in, it'll give them all of the tools and then delete the data. So the next time they spawn in, they don't get it again. If you, if you remove this, then whenever they respawn, they'll keep their tools. But we're gonna remove that for now. And now this should be the finished result. We just added an update tools function. So whenever their inventory changes, like their backpack or their character stuff, it'll update the tools, it'll update the data. So this is the update function. It'll check if there's a character. Then if there is, it'll go inside of the character in the backpack, check for all the tools, save all the tool names inside of this table, and then ch and then set their data to that. And then on the player leaving, it'll repeatedly try to save their data. If it works, then it'll save. And then if it doesn't work, it'll throw an error so that you can debug it. So if I press play here, as you can see, I don't have anything, but if I pick up these tools, and I'm, I'm just gonna drop the blue one. And then if I rejoin, so I'm gonna leave, it saved my data. And then if I join back, I have the red and green blocks. And then if I get more blocks, leave, rejoin again. As you can see, I still have all of them. And that's how I make a simple inventory system in Roblox. Make sure to set that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.